A pug and a chihuahua, a schnauzer and a poodle, plus some hybrids you'll never expect. Here are 10 of the cutest mixed dog breeds in the world. Number 10. Chug. This might be the most adorable mixed breed in the world. The Chug. This is what happens when you mix a chihuahua and a pug, and it's an animal like no other. You get all the fun playfulness of a chihuahua mixed with the wacky eccentrics of a pug, all rolled into one of the cutest packages ever. If you can't make your mind up between adopting a pug or a chihuahua, you don't have to anymore. The Chug has all the best traits of both parents, making them ideal pets. They also go by some other cute names. Some people call this breed the Pughuahua or the Pughuahua, the last one being my all-time favourite. Despite these little fellas being tiny and a little weird looking, in a good way of course, they have a lot of energy. They make excellent pets for families and young children can play safely with their chug. These dogs are typically more robust than a standard Chihuahua and they definitely don't have the same nasally issues as a pug. They are great for living in an apartment and they can be trained relatively well and the best part is that they keep the classic Chihuahua standoffishness to strangers. Number 9. Corgidor Next up is the Corgidor, a gorgeous mix between a Corgi and a Labrador Retriever. These don't seem like two dogs that would mix well, but they absolutely do and the results are simply amazing. Corgidors have irresistibly cute eyes that will let them get away with just about anything. They are really the ultimate family dog and they are going to get serious attention when walking on the streets or hanging out at the dog park for their unique appearance. Another fantastic thing about the Corgidor is their active lifestyle and loyalty, making them some of the best pets for those who have a lot of spare time. These dogs are very affectionate with kids, they are reasonably good with other dogs and they can be loving to a fault sometimes. Just to be warned that Corgidors have a terrible habit of shedding, but at least they don't drool. If you have a medium sized yard and some time to spare, a Corgidor can definitely be your new best friend. Plus, these pups typically live from between 10 and 15 years according to dog time. They are the perfect mid-sized dog to add to any family. Would you like to get one of these hybrid dogs? If you have a dog, what's it like? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new here. Number 8. Pomsky. A Pomsky is nearly too cute to be real. With its bright, endearing blue eyes and soft fur, the Pomsky is an amazing mixture between a Siberian Husky and a Pomeranian. While appearances can vary, this dog is guaranteed to melt even the coldest heart. A typical Pomsky comes with the colour and markings of a normal Husky, but the fluffy coat of a Pomeranian. These dogs love attention. They are reasonably sized and suited for living in houses or apartments, and they are excellent for those who live a healthy and active lifestyle. If you love the unique look of a Husky and the adorable fuzziness of a Pomeranian, you're going to absolutely adore a Pomsky. These dogs live for up to 15 years, they have a high need for love, and they'll enjoy going on long hikes and walks with you. Out of all the mixed breeds, Pomsky dogs are actually quite new, and they're rising in popularity because of how gorgeous they are, with many Pomskys becoming instant stars on social media. It's hard not to look into the smiling face of a little Pomsky puppy and not immediately want to cuddle it, right? Number 7. Shorky The Shorky is a mixture between a Shih Tzu and a Yorkshire Terrier, and they are one of the smallest and most adorable dogs on the planet. These puppies are miniature, fierce, and very loyal. They make some of the best puppies for someone who lives in an apartment, for a family with small children, or for seniors. These are some of the cutest lap dogs you will ever find. And even though they can thrive in a family household, they are even better for a single person household because of their extreme commitment to their owner. The only issue with a Shorky is that they do tend to be very yappy, but if you want the best out of a Shih Tzu and a Yorkshire Terrier, you already know that you're going to be dealing with a very vocal animal. However, the tiny little Shorky is not going to make a very good guard dog, unless maybe you're being attacked by a hobbit. These beautiful puppies only grow to be between 14 and 16 inches in height, they weigh a maximum of 15 pounds, and they are extremely playful. These dogs have a huge energy level, but they don't actually have a large need for exercise because they are so tiny and are generally happy running around the house. The Shorky is such a loving and committed dog that you really can't leave them alone, so they are certainly not suitable for anyone who works all day. They need constant love and attention, or they can fall into a miserable depression, and that's the last thing you want with such a cute animal. Number 6. Chiwini The Chiwini is honestly so cute it makes my head hurt. This dog is a fun mix between a Chihuahua and a Dachshund, and the way these dogs look is simply incredible. It's a sausage dog and a Chihuahua, and it doesn't get any more adorable than this. 
My favourite thing about the Chiwini, other than its hilarious name, is that it has a serious case of small dog syndrome. But this is one of the reasons that we really love these dogs. Anyone who's been around Chihuahuas or sausage dogs will know that these little munchkins think they are way bigger than they really are, and this trait gets exasperated with the Chiwini. They have pretty much no fear and will talk back to any bigger dog without hesitation. In fact, these dogs have a tendency to growl at anyone they don't know, to jump on people, to bark incessantly, and even to disobey your commands. But this is one of the reasons that we really love these dogs. And besides, if you properly train your Chihuini, these nasty habits won't be a big issue. And at the end of the day, the Chihuini is just too adorable to ever be mad at. This dog also has a huge heart and absolutely loves its family. Even if it is dismissive of strangers, that just shows how great of a loyal companion the dog really is. If you want an attractive, low-maintenance dog that fits nicely in an apartment and will growl at strangers, the Chihuini is definitely the way to go. Number 5. The Siberian Retriever The Siberian Retriever is a gorgeous mixture between the Siberian Husky and a Labrador Retriever. It's also been known as the Husky Lab or Lab Husky, and it's a medium-sized dog that measures up to around 25 inches in height. Out of all the mixed dogs on the list, Siberian Retrievers are some of the most truly adorable animals, getting the best traits from both parents. They are fantastic companions, super playful and extremely affectionate. If you want a friendly dog with the beautiful eyes of a husky and the tenacious nature of a Labrador Retriever, this is the animal for you. These dogs actually make great guide animals, and because they're so smart and obedient they even work well as police dogs. The Siberian Retriever has fantastic hunting instincts, so you definitely need to get them socialised at a young age, but they are far from unnecessarily aggressive. How could something so adorable be aggressive? The Siberian Retriever is patient with kids, they're pretty good with other animals, and they have silky fur that can be any mix of black, white, grey or chocolate. Unlike some breeds mixed with Siberian Huskies, these dogs typically have a coat of colour pattern more similar to the Labrador Retriever but they can still be born with the shockingly blue husky eyes. Number 4. The Woodle What can I say about the Woodle? It has a ridiculous name. It's a mix between a Poodle and a Wheaton Terrier, and it is simply snuggable. These dogs are smart, just like Poodles, but they are friendlier than most Poodles, taking more after the Terrier side of the family. This combination tends to produce real-life teddy bears. There is nothing better to cuddle on a cold night than your Woodle puppy. In fact, you will probably have to get used to being harassed on the street by strangers who can't help but try to get a quick cuddle in on the go. Plus, these are fantastic dogs because they pretty much never shed. You don't have to constantly worry about being covered in dog hair, but you do need to groom your Woodle on a daily basis. If you're confused about just how big a Woodle is based on the pictures, these dogs can actually grow to be around 45 pounds. They aren't huge, but they definitely aren't small either. These are not dogs that like to sit on the couch and be lazy potatoes. They really prefer to be out at the beach, hanging out at the park, or taking a stroll along the boardwalk. These dogs have tons of energy, they love to play with toys, and a Woodle can definitely be your best friend. Number 3. Yorkie Poo The Yorkie Poo is a gorgeous designer dog crossed between a Yorkshire Terrier and a miniature Poodle. There is really something magical about a smiling Yorkie Poo puppy. These dogs have a huge spirit, they are lots of fun, and I would argue that they are a more exciting dog to raise than either a Yorkshire Terrier or a Poodle. Yorkie Poo dogs are smart, gentle, and they make a delightful companion. These little dogs also fit nicely into an apartment, and you can even keep one on your basket while you ride around on your bicycle. Yorkie Poo dogs absolutely love people, they love to go out and have fun, and they can even be taught how to perform tricks. Just be careful, as this dog is definitely going to show off for any visitor you have in the house. Yorkie Poo dogs are extremely confident, and they can give you more love than you'll know what to do with. You can never go wrong adopting an adorable Yorkie Poo. Number 2. Dalmashund The Dalmashund may very well be the most adorable dog on today's list. This dog is a mixture between a Dalmatian and a Dashund, and the result is purely phenomenal. You get the lovable appearance of a Dalmatian mixed with the sausage body of a Dashund. What's really incredible is that the appearance and size of these dogs is greatly varied, with some dogs growing to be at least 43 pounds and others remaining very small at between 13 and 20 pounds. You never really know what you're going to get when you mix these two types of dogs together, but I guarantee the package is always going to please. These kinds of dogs don't shed very much, they have extremely high energy levels, and they are surprisingly easy to train. But the big bonus here is that your Dalmatian is going to be a real showstopper. 
There is no way you can go for a walk without your unique dog being ogled and adored by every person in sight. If you're a young single looking to meet someone else with a dog, this is definitely one way to make friends with strangers at the dog park. Number 1. Schnoodle A schnoodle is a mix between a miniature schnauzer and a poodle, and yes, these dogs are ridiculously adorable. Last on the list, but definitely not least, you can expect a charming, funny, and absolutely brilliant dog when you cross these two breeds. You get all the attentiveness of a poodle and a schnauzer rolled up into one dog. Even though these pups are small, they make for excellent guard animals. They have a curly coat, smart, wide eyes, and floppy ears that make them truly remarkable in the world of adorable canines. If you're on the lookout for a fabulous companion dog that will keep you company, be extremely loyal, and keep watch over your home, the schnoodle is the way to go! These dogs have a moderately active lifestyle that works well with seniors and young children. They are obedient, easy to train, and all kinds of wacky. They don't even have any major health issues, and they can live for anywhere from 13 to 17 years. The schnoodle may be smaller than your typical poodle, but they definitely have all the spunk that makes them a cute and fun pet to have around the house. Which of these adorable crossbreeds would you like to adopt right now? Let me know all about it in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another adorable video.